Value finance, and as I said, it was only just rolled out in 2019. So how all of this is going to work, who knows? This is still very much at the pilot stage. This is very much at the, at the aspirational stage. But it, these are models that are being rolled out because even before COVID, we were already massively in the hole with the money that was getting invested in infrastructure, including in mobility. We can get excited as engineers all we want about all the new technology, but a lot of it about scaling it and scaling that infrastructure, scaling the, the computational infrastructure and everything else is still going to depend on, you know, some level of contribution of public financing aside from, you know, our financing as in, you know, the, the, the consumer's financing. And now post COVID, of course, what has happened post COVID is that as we, as we saw in a report probably a couple of weeks ago, uh, New York Times, that uh, the 700 largest cities in the United States have decided to indefinitely postpone or altogether eliminate infrastructure maintenance and upgrade for the foreseeable future. There's just such massive holes in public budgets, which we had always assumed we're going to pay for the build out of infrastructure such that we can get all this automated stuff on the road. But in reality, financially, it isn't going to happen. Right, it's it's a pipe dream. So, so so this we need to come up with new models, and the the value financing is, is one of them. Mm -hmm.